Now patients living with SMA have some bubblegum flavored hope in a medicine bottle. 17's Ileana Capian explains. That's right, Alex. Jacqueline Cabrera is 19 years old, and for years after being diagnosed with spinal muscular atrophy, there was no treatment. Now her life is full of hope because the FDA has finally approved a treatment plan that works for her. Jacqueline Cabrera was three years old when her parents first realized she wasn't running and playing games the same way other kids were. I remember being in PE when I was in middle school and not being able to do what other kids would do, like, like simple stuff like run the mile or do some squats. Unbeknownst to her, not only was spinal muscular atrophy causing her physical issues, but emotionally, it was taking a toll too. Like, you know, the bullies in high school be like, oh, like, like you fell or, you know, but at the end of the day, you kind of, it's just stuff that you end up getting used to. So, especially at that age, I knew it, it was hard, but I mean, now it's just memories, so it's fine. But it wasn't fine. Gabriela started purposely missing school to avoid mild days in PE, causing her parents to take things more seriously. Like trying to do what they want you to do or comparing yourself to the other students that were there that could do what you couldn't. And it's like kind of simple things like that. It's like, it's like it's just running a mile, but it's not just running a mile for me. It takes a lot more work for me than it does for everybody else. See, SMA is a genetic condition that causes weakness and atrophy in the muscles. And after years of doctor's visits, hours on the road, and medical tests, doctors were finally able to diagnose her. But that was only the beginning of what she calls the biggest battle of her young life. Okay, I know what I have now. Like, how do we treat this? But it's also like, oh, like, you have this, but there's also no treatment. So at, the, at that time, we were like, you know what, like, Dr. She was like, there is some treatments coming. Like, we just have to wait a little bit. And wait, she did. Cabrera waited five long years until August of 2020 when the FDA approved EverSD as the first at-home treatment option for adults and children two months and older. EverSD came along and I was like, oh yes, like finally, you know, um, it gives me a sense of hope. Like it's going to stop me from getting worse and it hopefully get, like, helps me get better. And now I've been on EverSD for about, for almost about like six months straight. It's been pretty good. I mean, it, it tastes great. It's not like when you take it, it's not, it doesn't taste as bad, but it tastes like bubble gum, so that's fine. Gene Tech, the creators of EverSD, sent us a statement in regards to the success of EverSD. The statement in reads in part, we are extremely proud to have brought this groundbreaking medicine to the SMA community, a community whose strength and resolve has continually inspired us. EverSD, with its favorable clinic profile and oral administration, is an important advancement for people with SMA. That's from Dahlia Mauward, MD Head Neuro Rare Disease for the U.S. Medical Affairs at Gene Tech. Cabrera says since she started her treatment, she's been feeling stronger and is celebrating little accomplishments like making it up her front porch steps without any issues. She's also actually studying nursing at Bakersfield College. In studio, Ileana Capellan, 17 News.